Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about open collector gates. So, what do you mean by open collector? When a transistor is used at the output terminal, the output may be like it will be having a resistor from VCC to the collector of the transistor and then this transistor other terminal like emitter is maybe connected to ground or any resistor connected to ground through a resistor and the output generally we are taking from this collector terminal and this resistance other terminal is connected to plus VCC VCC may be of 5 volts or 12 volts now this is the output terminal generally we are taking when this resistor is not used when this resistor is not used, if it is eliminated from the circuit, if it is eliminated from the circuit and the circuit will be like it is having open collector, open collector means there is no other component connected at the collector of the transistor. So whatever the changes made at the input that will change the behavior of the transistor that may be on or off so that the output will be coming okay so the meaning of open collector is the collector terminal is open circuited previously we have seen a totem pole configuration in totem pole configuration we have two transistors one diode okay two transistors and one diode in that two config in that configuration of the totem pole we have eliminated one transistor one diode and we are keeping one more transistor okay if you have seen the previous videos in the previous video i have explained you ttl nand gate ttl nand gate there the output is taken from the totem pole configuration totem pole configuration consisting of two transistors and one diode okay so in that now i have taken only the bottom transistor up tra upper transistor and one more diode those two are eliminated from the output okay then it becomes open collector now how this open collector will help us to create an inverter let us see see this is the open collector inverter open collector inverter whatever the input you are giving here either 0 or 1 that will be inverted at the output okay let us name the transistors as q1 q2 and q3 so three transistors are here the first transistor is connected in such a way that the input is given to the VCC like the base terminal. Base terminal is connected to VCC and the collector terminal is connected to the base of transistor Q2 whereas the emitter terminal is connected at the input where we are giving the input like A or B or whatever it is. Okay, this is the original input we are giving at the emitter whereas the emitter is also having a connection to the ground through a diode d1 the purpose of diode d1 diode is to ground the negative supply suppose if any short circuit occurred at the input and negative supply is coming that negative supply should not go into the transistor okay that will be grounded through the diode d1 okay so d1 purpose is to ground to ground the negative voltage d1 purpose is to ground the negative voltage because p type terminal of this diode is connected to zero potential and if any negative voltage that means less than zero voltage appeared at the diode d1 and terminal then diode comes into on state in the remaining cases always it is in off circuit okay now let us see what happens when a is equal to 0 what happens when a is equal to 0 see when a is equal to 0 the transistor q1 base to emitter junction comes into on state so this junction is on okay because the base is having a potential like vcc which is around 5 volts and emitter is having 0 volts so this base to emitter junction is switched on when this junction is switched on the current is having a path to flow in this direction towards the input because input is at ground okay so q1 is set to be on 
as q1 is in on state there is no flow of current in this direction in this direction there is no flow of current so as there is no input current to the q2 q2 simply off state q2 is in off state and as the q2 is in off state there is no current flow to the input of the q3 to the input of the q3 so q3 also off q3 also off when q3 is also off the output is nothing but output is nothing but open circuited open circuited because top we don't have bottom we are having open circuit so either terminals both the terminals are open circuited simply the output terminal is in free there is no connection in either sides that's why output is simply open circuit now let us see the other case when a is equal to 1 logic high and what is the status of q1 q2 q3 see when a is connected to logic high state then base to empty junction is switch off because a is having a plus 5 volt supply and here the base of q1 is also having plus 5 volts so as there is no potential difference between this the junction is break down and the q1 comes into off state when q1 comes into off state there is a current flow from vcc through r1 towards this q2 from the collector of this q1 so now it is having a current flow so q2 comes into on state and as q2 is an on state obviously q3 also comes into on state because the current will be flowing at the input of the q3 so q3 also on so q2 and q3 both are both will be in same state always if q2 q2 off q3 off if q2 on q3 on then as the q3 is in on state the output is connected to ground so output is equal to zero output is equal to zero ground so one one way it is kind of acting as inverter see when input is equal to a one when input is equal to high output is equal to low so this is inverting action but when input is equal to zero output is open circuited that that means actually we should have to get logic high but logic high is not appearing here it is open circuited it should be logic one then only we can call it as inverter one case it is success but one case it is of success it is giving open circuit neither zero nor one so in order to achieve this logic one we cannot leave this terminal as free we cannot leave this terminal as free because as it is free only we are getting this open circuit so we have to use an external resistor between vcc and this output terminal so that during q3 off state output becomes one okay so let us see the circuit diagram see we are using we are using a resistor r as an external resistor this external resistor is connected between vcc and the output vcc and the output so because of this existence of resistor now when input is equal to when a is equal to 0 when a is equal to 0 this particular transistor is on let us name the transistors q1 q2 q3 q1 comes into on q2 off q3 also off when q1 q2 q3 are in this particular status q2 off q3 off when it is off open circuited means output is not connected to ground but output is connected to vcc it's because it is connected through a resistor or external resistor to vcc so we can say output is equal to logic high vcc nothing but plus 5 volts nothing but logic high and remaining case it is common as usual in the previous case when a is equal to 1 q1 is in off state when q1 is in on state 
of state there is a current flow to the input of the transistor q2 so q2 comes into on state and q3 comes into on state thereby the output becomes logic zero as this transistor q3 is in on the output is connected to ground okay in this way the open collector circuit can be acting as a perfect inverter to give either logic one or logic zero with the complementary actions of the input potential okay so we have to use an external resistor at the open collector we cannot leave that as a simple open collector because it cannot give either logic 0 or logic 1 in one particular state like at input is equal to 0. Okay. Thank you.